Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I just thought I would show you all the things that I have for my hamster. So maybe you get a little inspiration about what you should get for your hamster or what you can buy for your hamster. I hope you're gonna enjoy the video and I'm just going to go right into it. I'm just going to start with showing you my hamster's cage and what I have in it for him. So he has this house with toilet paper in it. It's a ceramic house and he really loves it. And he has a wheel, of course, the diameter is 28 centimeters because he's Syrian, so he needs a big wheel. It, then over here we have a small corner toilet. Some hamsters will use it, some will not. Here I have a ceramic tunnel for him. He loves to sit here and like use it as a hideout. Over here we have the sand bath where I can see there's some food in. I only spot clean once a week, so yeah, sometimes it's kind of dirty in here. And then I have just used um, a toilet roll or a couple of toilet rolls and just made this toy for him where I put food into it and he can get out of there a way of activating the tiny guy so he have something to stimulate himself with and then you can see of course there's food around here I have bought this parsley root for him it's just good for the teeth along with this one over here that he has in the sand bath it's also just good for his teeth it's a tiny, tiny toothbrush it's actually used for, for um, dog's teeth but it's also good for hamsters then I have these vine branches and then I have some ripped toilet paper for him so I just use it as nesting material in his house so you can see he's already using it as nesting material so yeah that's his cage and of course he has a water bubble here he has a stone underneath for his Toenail, so they do not grow too long. So this cage is just a fair plus tuna cage that I talked about in my video about what you're supposed to mold for get a hamster. So it's this fine size, it's around 90 or 100 in length, so it's a good size cage. It also costs a lot. It was 900 kron or something. In my country, you can't just make the bin cages because we don't have <laughs> bins that are big enough. So you can't like go the cheaper route in my country, sadly. And we have the painting that I made for this channel. If you want to see the video where I'm making this painting, please let me know. I have made a video about it for my other channel. It's just all of my pets. <laughs> this is Rudolph. And these are two guinea pigs that we are getting. I'm thinking of calling this one Bear, which is Bjorn in, in Danish. And this one, Chris Chrisling, which would be Piggy or something, I think, in English. But let me know if you want to see me painting it. It isn't the prettiest picture, but you know, sometimes we're just gonna have fun with it and it shouldn't be about it always being perfect. But yeah, this food is over here. So the cat food um, and his mix of food and some dried herbs. And here I just have some nuts and seeds for his omegas. And yeah, I just thought that I was down here just to show you the other things that I have for my hamster Rudolph. And I'm sorry about the wall. I didn't fall it on. I have to paint something over there and over there. So I'm gonna do that sometimes in the future. So I'm sitting in the other sofa in in our living room. We have two sofas. Sofa is the one that I mainly sit at. And this is the other one that we just use for the pets because it's it has seen better days. So far definitely seen better days and that's why we're just using it for the pets. Don't really care if they pee on it or ruin it or nibble in it or anything because it's already ruined. So we just use it for them. And then just wanted to show you some of the other things we have for our hamster Rudolph. We have this box of comfort, which is just paper-based bedding and it's really a great brand, I would say. And then we also have some sand for our hamster. This sand is kind of with bigger coins because I don't think you're gonna find any sand that isn't dusty at all, but you should probably, if you can, find sand that is less dusty because again, 
hamsters have sensitive respiratory system so they shouldn't be getting any substrate or sand that is too dusty that really isn't good for a respiratory system so you should try to avoid that if you can and then we have a disc bag of hemp so it's a three base bedding you could say um it's really great it isn't dusty and isn't any kind of unsafe shaving for them so just to show you it looks something like this this is a safe kind of wood bedding you can use for them it's well important i find some bedding that isn't dusty because of the sensitive respiratory system and then i have uh, this one over here where i have all the different kind of stuff for my hamster so i have toilet paper which i just spread up and give to him to a nesting material and then again I have some toilet bowls which I just make different toys for him to activate him and give him some enrichment in his cage and then again I just have some dry food for him down here and then I also have this and this is for when I clean his sand so all the poop and stuff gets stuck in here and all the clean sand gets through I only use this for his sand bath but I always throw everything out in his toilet there's a tiny corner toilet that showed you because the peats and poops there a lot so I think it's just more hygienic to just clean it every week so I throw that sand, sand out but sand sand that I don't throw out I also have this <laughs> which is just a health block you could say where I write things down like what he weighs and all that so you can see that he's healthy and everything is as it's supposed to be just if you want to know actually just for a fun fact Rudolph weighs 151 grams and then I have this cooling plate for him for summer it's ceramic cooling plate, it's just great when you have fur babies you need to keep them cool in the summer this is just for that and then I have his food here, Mr. Johnson this is just regular food and then I have sort of like hamster balls in here then I have this also which it's just for plants but sometimes it gets parsley and then i just put the parsley pan in this and pot with some unfertilized soil it's very important that it's unfertilized because if it's fertilized then it's not safe and then i have this that i put in his regular food and actually just to help him with his teeth because he isn't the kind of hamster that likes to know on many things he doesn't really like to gnaw on parsley root or anything so it's just to make sure he has something to gnaw on so his teeth doesn't get too long because he's a rodent and the teeth goes in my entire lifetime I also have a rock down here it's rock for some reason and you can just go out and find rocks as long as they're not like pointy or sharp or really smooth that's fine um, and you can just, when you come home, clean it with some boiling water over the rock a couple of times and just let it dry and put it in with a hamster. That's totally fine. Actually, I don't have much more in here, so that's just what I have for my hamster that I want to show you. I hope you enjoyed the video and got something out of it. Thank you very much for tuning into this video. Remember to comment, like and subscribe if you like the content I make.